Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number 486, predict the winner. And at the end of the video, I have shared some few similar problems that you can work on. And also I have an important announcement regarding the workshop that we'll be conducting on linked list that is tomorrow. So stay tuned till the end of the video. In this problem, we are given an array and we have two players P1 and P2. Say, they, say let's assume this is the amount of money and we have to predict P1 starts the game and P2 is the second player. P1 has to play a, the game in such a way that he has to get the maximum amount of money. And P2 will also play the game in such a way that they will get the maximum amount of money. Now, what is asked in the problem? Since both of them are playing in a way that they want to get the maximum amount of money, can player P1 win the game? That is the first player. Can they win the game? So that is the idea of the problem. For example, if you look here in this example, let's say player one first picked up the first thing. What is the sum? The sum will be one. Then player two has two options, either to pick up five or seven. In both the cases, those are devastating. Why? Because player two gets an option of 100. Now, once he has got an option of 100, this P1 here is clearly the winner. So the function in this case will return true. Yes, player P1 can win. Now, if you look here, both P1 and P2 played in a way that they are getting the maximum sum, right? Now, if we take a similar example, now here P1 is the first player to play and P2 is the second player to play. What will P1 choose? P1 can either choose one or two. Let's say we P1 chooses two and P2, will choose 5 because out of 1 and 5 that is the best option. Now the option that P1 has is 1, the total score will be 3 and the total score of P2 will be 5. So no matter what P1 does, P1 will always lose the, lose the game. So the answer in this case will be a false, that is P1 can never win the game. Now what is the approach that we have? The approach that we have is we will generate all the possible ways that is the first approach brute force and let's then optimize this in this approach what we'll be doing is we'll be generating all the possible options let's generate all the possible options and see if p1 can wins and we will also see that any optimization can be done right even before that let me tell you something instead of calculating the scores of both of the players can we calculate using just one player what do i mean by that instead of doing two can we directly do minus five here that is it is saying that here p1 is losing five points p2 is winning five points can also be said as p1 is losing five points can we say that yes so two minus five plus one which will be equal to minus two if all the answers are leading to a negative number, this means that player 1 cannot win. Similarly, in the first case, our answer will be 101 minus 12, which is greater than or equal to 0. In this case also, P1 will be the winner. Now, so it is just required that we will track one score, not both the scores. Now, let's do the same thing. Here, at every step, we have two options. One is P1 will choose 1, the score will become 1 and P1 has the option of choosing 7. Now, after choosing, this is the first step. This is step 1. Now, what is the remaining array? The remaining array will be 500, 7. Here also, the remaining will be 1, 500. Now, it is the chance of P2 to play the game or in this stage, let's assume that P1 is losing. That is, in this stage, whatever will be chosen will be negative again we have two options here one is 1 minus 5 that is minus 4 or 1 minus 7 that is minus 6 in both the cases now here also we'll be having two more options that is 7 can either do minus 1 that will be 6 or 7 minus 100 that will be minus 93 again what are the remaining arrays we have chosen 5 so the remaining will be 100 comma 7 Similarly, on the other hand, here we will be having 5, 100. I won't write whatever is on the right side just for simplicity of this problem. Again, there are two options here. We will be choosing 100 and making the score as 96. At this stage, we have to add, not subtract, we have to add. Similarly, on the other option, we have minus 4 plus 7, which is equal to 3. Similarly, again, we have two options. 
here also minus 6 plus 5 will be minus 1 and 94 and again if we come here what is the remaining the remaining is 7 and this will be our base case whenever there is only one element that will be our base case similarly if you look on the other side we just have 100 so here it will be 96 minus 7 here it will be 3 minus 100 which is a losing case but we got one positive case which indicates that player 1 is going to win so this will be true case but if you look here are we encountering the same cases again and again if you look here we will also be encountering a case where we will be left with 5 comma 100 where we will be left with 5 comma 100 if you look here the same case is coming here so for a given value of l comma r l comma r the maximum we will be knowing right for a given value of l comma r we are recomputing again and again what will be the maximum score all we are doing is computing the maximum score and deciding whether we have to add the maximum score or subtract the maximum score right so let's look at what can be optimized in this problem that is for example we are given this array 1507 we chose a number and just say we are left with 5 comma 100 now this 5 comma 100 for sure will have a maximum score that is will be equal to 95 this the maximum score of this is 95 so what we will be doing is we will store this value as 95 so that we won't compute it we will either be adding this 95 or subtracting this 95 based on the player but the score of this particular l comma r will be same right so that is what we will be doing we will be initiating a dp array and we will be storing the value of l comma r for every l and r so what is the value of l l can either go from 0 that is l can start from this element and l can end at this element so l can go from 0 to n minus 1 similarly r can go from n minus 1 to 0 so what do we have we have a square matrix of this size n so we will have a square matrix of size n so this is what we will be having once we are come up with the base condition what is the base condition the base condition is l equals equals r that is this will be filled first after this is filled in the next stage in the next stage all we have to do is start filling this start filling this and we will, we will not be using a bottom up approach that is we will be not filling up this and then filling the uh, other elements all we can do is we can fill from the top down approach only but i'm showing the direction in which the values will be filled now let us dive into the pseudo code what we'll be doing and this will be our base condition that is if l is equal to r we just return that particular element because we just have one element now if the dp value will initiate all the dp value to minus one so that it won't interfere or it is saying that there is nothing here so if it is not equal to minus one what we will be returning we will be returning the already calculated score now once we have calculated the score we have to calculate the left and the right what this is saying is i am picking the left element and the score has to be subtracted the remaining score has to be subtracted from the remaining array similarly i am picking up the right element and the maximum score from the remaining array has to be subtracted if you look here at every stage the this direction will be changing that is at the first stage it will be minus at the second stage it will be becoming plus and so on so that thing is taken care in this particular stage at each stage what we are doing we are picking up the left and we are increasing the left index or we will be picking up the right and decreasing the right index we will be computing both of the score and we will be picking whichever is the maximum score say we have two options one is five and one is three which one we will be picking we will be picking up the max that is equal to five and this function will also return five right now what will the main function do the main function will call this function with the input and our left will be equal to zero and our right will be n minus one that is the initial case before that we have to initiate the dp array and we have to fill all of them with minus one and if the score finally is equal to or greater than zero then we clearly have p1 as the winner that is we have a positive score at some point 
right that is we are always trying to choose the maximum so at some point if we are getting a value greater than 0 that means p1 will be the winner now there are a few similar problems to this that you can try solving these problems and we have a dedicated telegram group where we'll be sharing and discussing about this problem i have mentioned the link in the description so do consider joining the telegram group and these are the similar problems and we are organizing a free workshop on linked list that will be happening tomorrow of making this video so i have mentioned the zoom link in the description so do consider joining the workshop thank you for watching the video have a great day